Hello everyone, I am Ezekiel Bruni, and this website, a Planet Video, is brought to you by My Wife's Haircuts. I've got new lights, new camera, and that same old website Planet action for you today. We are actually going to be transferring a website from Wix to Shopify. Not the actual store products, those can be exported via a CSV file, but exporting your website is, well, there's no button that just does that for you. So we're going to have to do things manually. It's simple, a little tedious, but simple. Let's go over and have a look at, this is my test site. It's a site I built on Wix to sell pictures of my wonderful fluffy cat, Cleocatra. Simple enough, just some text over a photo, it's, uh, three columns with uh, text and images, you know, delineating features, uh, a quick newsletter sign-up form and a disclaimer stating that this is not a real thing. It's, it's not. So, <clears throat> simple enough. Here we are on Shopify. First, we're going to just take a couple minutes to set up a brand new store. That's it. I'm going to have someone blur out my email address in post. And we're going to put in actually just the regular password that I've already got. And let's throw in a store name. I've already called like Cleocatra1, Cleocatra2, Cleocatra45. So we're going to do test, uh, no, video test site. There we go. Video test site. And is that available? It seems to be available. Let's create my store. Now, I already have a Shopify account, so I'm just going to log me in there. It, that's the incorrect password. Um, I'm going to take a second to sort this out and smash cut to the next screen. So that was a little embarrassing. Had to update my password. Oh, well. Um, <clears throat> it there was a little loading screen you might have seen that just basically said we're making your store for you and now i've got to choose some products i'm just playing around i'm not selling anything <clears throat> my current revenue zero mexican pesos uh photography because this is about pictures of my kitty and no, I'm, de I'm not developing this for, uh, whatever. I'm not developing this for a client. I'm developing this for myself. And I'm going to cut past the part where I put in my email address. Okay. So now that I've put in my address, I've been taken to this screen right here. And... You, you would normally, like, normally when building a store, you'd want to just add a product, but we're not doing that. We're going straight to customize theme. And we can choose a different theme. You can choose from their library of free themes here, or you can br browse the theme store and build, uh, get one of the premium ones. We're not going to do any of that. We're just going to go straight into customizing the default theme because this will give us the tools we need to uh, copy uh, c content over easily enough. Now, you're seeing what looks to be here like a fairly standard uh, site builder, except there's a couple of things you need to know. One, you can't drag and drop anything. Uh, secondly, everything's handled through this sidebar. <laughs> The sidebar is where you do the dragging and the dropping, and the sidebar is where you decide what content is going to be on your page and which what content is not. And the last thing you need to know, the last thing you absolutely need to know, well, here's how to remove stuff, but the last thing you need to know is that you can't do this for every page. You can only do this, and this is very annoying, I'm not going to lie, you can only do this on the home page. Every other page works a little differently, and I'll show you how they work later. But for now, we've got mostly what we need. We've got this image with the text overlay. We've got the text columns, and let's just do the newsletter, and we'll call that a day, huh? So now we've got the basic template we need. We're good to go. 
adding the actual text and images is easy stuff. First, we just go into this header section. No, no, the header we're leaving alone. Sorry, <laughs> we go to this image with overlay section. And let me find, there we go. I've got my folder full of pictures and I think I can just drag and drop. Let's see. Yes, I can just drag and drop images to upload them. And boom, there's my picture. Now I want the text. And boom, got it. Now, something you need to know is like, again, everything's edited here on the sidebar. You know, you can't just uh, edit things over here. And every different kind of content will have, you know, its fields. We can change the layout. I think I prefer the full width, though, if I'm honest. We can change the image alignment. You can change the text size. Uh, we're going to go with the large. And that's, that's it, really. Just copy and paste your text into the appropriate fields. Oh, uh, something you should know here, and you know, drag and drop your images in. But something you should know here is that you can is that um, these content blocks, like this, is one block of content: the image with text overlay. This content block over here with the columns is actually three content blocks in one, and you can add col <coughs> you can add extra columns. See, there's four now, or you can delete them, and that's it. You just repeat the same process as before. And only you put in a different picture now. Let's see. Uh, we'll call it this one. And then copy and paste your text. Oh, the newsletter section didn't get didn't stay. Odd. Let's go back. And there we go. Subscribe to our newsletter. We will select that, and that will stay where it is. Now I'm going to take a few minutes to finish out uh, finish uh, creating the page, and then I'll show you what the final page looks like in the editor and on the live site. All right. And then I'll show you how to uh, p uh, copy content over to everything that's not a home page. While I work, I wanted to include a quick interlude. Uh, you might have noticed I kept forgetting to hit this green select button. When you're choosing things like images, that's important. Otherwise, your changes won't be saved. It's the same when adding uh, new sections of content like the newsletter, like I did earlier. All right, <laughs> now I'll see you in a bit when I finish the rest of this. Now, that only took me a few minutes, all things considered. And we've got the full page, more or less. It's got all the same content. Well, it doesn't have the disclaimer, but we're just going to ignore that for now. You just click Save, and you're good to go. Now, if you want to see your site live, you just go hit this exit button over here, then hit this little eye icon by next to the online store link. And there you go. There is the home page in all its glory. Now, let's assume you have some other pages you want on your website. Unfortunately, you cannot design them like you can here. We'll go create a page. We'll just call it About Us. And this is it. <laughs> this is all you get. It's just a little uh, rich text field. You can insert videos and images, that sort of thing. So that's good. So we're going to put our disclaimer here. And we're going to change this to Shopify. And let's throw in one more picture just for funsies. One of the ones we used before. You can access the same photos you uploaded for your homepage, which is good. And we're not going to bother with alt text or anything like that because I am being lazy for the purposes of this video. Save as. 
and the view page. And there you go. You get this single column layout thing. It's not a lot to look at. I'm not going to lie, but it works. It's functional. The whole point of Shopify, after all, is the store. So basically, you can customize your homepage and your store and all the other pages are pretty much an afterthought. Well, so that was pretty simple, and I hope you all enjoyed that, found it useful, <laughs> uh, in for educational even, maybe even fun. Now, in the video description, we are going to be putting a, a few helpful links in. We will be putting in a link to the written guide for this. We will be putting in, most likely, links to the Shopify and Wix reviews, so you can compare their actual features and how they work. And you, I'll also in, be sure to include a link to our Site Builder category page, which shows off all our reviews of all the best website builders in case Shopify and Wix aren't working out for you. Anyway, that'll be it for today. Uh, again, I hope this was informational and helpful. And that's uh, this is Ezekiel Bruni signing out.